we are redeemed to walk in the better cross. We are supposed to be commander of signs and wonders. The world should be running after signs and wonders, but as believers, we should be producers of signs. We are to make signs and wonders happen. We are supposed to be walking in the supernatural. Is somebody get what God say here? In the Old Testament, Moses came. Yesterday we said the word of God. Is that true? Today I'm going further. Moses came in the Old Testament as a mighty man, man of signs and wonders. And the secret behind Moses' signs was divine presence. Was what? When Moses in Exodus chapter 3, if you read 11 and 12, he said, and Moses said unto God, who am I that I should go unto Pharaoh and that I should bring forth the children of Israel out of Egypt? And he said, God speaking here, certainly I will be with thee. Did you hear that? And this shall be a token unto thee that thou, that I have sent thee. When thou hast brought forth the people out of Egypt, you shall serve God upon this mountain. When God spoke that to Moses, Moses made a statement in Exodus 33, 14 and 15. Exodus 33, 14 and 15, hear what Moses said. And he said, God speaking, my presence shall go with thee. Did you hear that? And I will give thee rest. And he said unto him, if thy presence go not with me, Carry us not up hence. He said, except your presence go with me, I can't stand before Pharaoh. What makes the difference is God's presence with you. Is somebody get what God say here? Jesus came, performed miracles of all kinds. Mind-blowing signs and Wonders. It's miraculous as we are traceable to divine presence. So what? In John chapter 3, 1 and 2, there was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. The same came to Jesus by night and said unto him, Rabbi, we know that thou art a teacher come from what? God. For no man can do these miracles that thou doest except God be with him. Did you hear that? He said these miracles are happening only because God is with you. And in Acts 10 38, he said how God anointed Jesus Christ of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. Who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil for God. God was with him. So it was God with him that brought about the incredible miracle. Without God's presence, you'll be miracle barren. Jesus could perform incredible miracles because of God's presence. God's what? That was why Jesus so much treasured the divine presence of God. In John chapter 8 verse 29 he said, He that sent me is with me, the Father had not left me alone, for I do always those things that what? Please him. He said, the Father has not left me alone. Now, if you look at the secret behind the exploits of the apostles in operating the miraculous was divine presence with them. Was what? Moses, divine presence. Jesus, divine presence. The apostles, divine what? In Mark chapter 16, verse 20, he said, and they went forth and preached everywhere, the Lord walking with them. Who was walking with them? God. And confirming the word with signs following. Undoubtedly, hear this. Divine presence of God is our covenant guarantee for the miraculous. If you want continuous flow of signs and wonders, you must be a carrier of divine presence. Is somebody get what God saying? The mighty acts of God are generated.
by his presence. By his presence. Signs and wonders trail God's presence. They just follow. Anywhere God's presence is, miracles happen. Is somebody get what God's saying? The anointing of God's presence compels signs and wonders. If you must keep operating in the miraculous and command signs and wonders, then you must be a carrier of divine presence of God. Shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. But I'm going somewhere. Everything of value attracts a cost. Every treasure has a cost. So divine presence is not free. <laughs> Somebody get what God say here. Hmm? God is everywhere but does not manifest everywhere. It's the God of your heart, so there's no place God cannot appear. But it does not manifest in every place. Am I communicating with you? If divine presence of God is indispensable and valuable in commanding signs and wonders, then what must I do to secure it? There's something I have to do to secure his presence. Am I communicating with you? You'll be surprised. When you read the Bible, always read in between the lines. When Jesus came out and resurrected, he gave a command and gave a statement. He combined the divine presence that will go with them to a condition. To what? Every time saying, God, I want to do this, he will give you a condition. He gives you an instruction for every distinction. There's no miracle of God that does not go with an instruction. You want to be saved as free as salvation. The instruction is you must confess Jesus. Is that true? If you refuse to confess Jesus, you can't be saved. It's free. But the condition is you must confess Jesus Christ your Lord and Savior. You want my presence to do miracles? There's a condition. There's a what? There's a condition. Do you want to know the condition? Now, turn with me to the book of Matthew 28. Matthew 28. We have read one of them before. Matthew, put a finger in Matthew 28, 19 and 20. We we'll read that, then we we'll read Mark 16, 20. Shall we read together? Want to go? Matthew 28, 19, 20. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe all things, whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you, say divine presence, even unto the end of the world. Is that true? Divine presence. Now look at Mark 16, 20. Are you there? Are you Mark 16, 20? Shall we read together? And they went forth and preached everywhere. And they went forth, did what? Take note. The Lord walking with them and confirming the word with signs following. If you look at those two scriptures, they did something before God moved to do signs. They didn't just provoke signs free. He gave a condition to the disciples, which we are. He said, until you go to win souls, I will not, my presence will not go with you to do signs. He said, go ye, then I will not go to produce signs. If you don't go move, no signs. Come on, sir, here. So soul winning is our guarantee to secure or carry divine presence for signs and wonders. Are you getting it now? Come on. You, you can see it now? Okay. What is soul winning? It is the act of telling sinners about Jesus. It's the act of what? About Jesus. On the basis of the gospel. It is the art of telling sinners about Jesus. 
on the basis of the gospel with the motive of making them accept the lordship of Jesus Christ. With the motive of making them accept the lordship of who? By the help of the Holy Spirit. I said, it is the act of telling sinners about Jesus on the basis of the gospel with the motive of making them accept the lordship of Jesus Christ. Did you get that? You got up to that? By the help of the Holy Spirit. It is the art of telling sinners about Jesus. You got that? On the basis of the gospel. You got up to that? With the motive of making them accept the lordship of Jesus Christ. You got that? By the help of the Holy Spirit. That's what we mean. Is that true, sir? Go nowhere, because this message continues shortly. It's time for Outstanding Miracles. Yes. You gave a word of knowledge here on arthritis. Everyone with arthritis, you are healed in the name of Jesus. This woman has had painful right knee for the past six months. But here this evening, as you give the word of knowledge, she got a miracle. She got a miracle. Oh, 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 oh. Ah, 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 ah. yes. Pastor, you gave a word of knowledge about someone who had a, a hamstring muscle. You were describing it. Is the hamstring muscle was injured? There's somebody with pain, severe pain around here. Now do your legs like this, no pain. Do it again, no pain. Do it again, no pain. You are healed in Jesus' name. Right in this service, God is healing. Two months ago, he was playing football, a training. He had an injury in that hamstring muscle, and since then, she's not been able to flex that leg, the right one. Right in this service, after the word of knowledge, he can flex the muscle. Oh, you give him a big, big, big oh. hand. Lady, you had a try this. Do what you couldn't do. Do something you couldn't do before. You couldn't do that before? No way. You couldn't move it? Yes. <laughs> You're happy? You're happy. You're free. You do what you couldn't do with that leg. No, no pain. Where was it? Where was it? It's gone? Oh, we thank you, Jesus. Sweet Holy Spirit. Sweet Holy Spirit in Jesus' name. Oh. Sweet Holy Spirit in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. When I speak with authority, be delivered in the name of Jesus. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Go in peace. It is well with your business. The phrase go ye is a command. Is it what? Jesus is not appealing. He said, You want signs? Go ye. Go what? It's a commission. Tell him it's a commission. All that Jesus was saying and is still saying is if you are committed to my business of guarding souls, then I'm committed to go with you. So here. I mean, understand now. Glory to God. Shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. And the presence of God is the natural habitat for signs and wonders. The first miracle I ever experienced, I've shared it before, was when I went out to preach. When I went out to what? As a brother, not as a pastor. I went out to preach. That was where, I, I said it last Sunday, I think I said it, where I saw the first creative miracle in my life. Am I coming with you? That was where I saw a man with crushes walked in my life as a brother. So a practical involvement in God's business is what guarantees you to enjoy divine presence. Jesus came to introduce us to the business. And hear this. It is the most lucrative business on earth. Because of his eternal rewards that money can't buy. Jesus made a statement in Luke chapter 2 verse 49. He said, and he said unto them, how is it that ye sought me? 
Wish ye not that I must be about my father's business. Jesus saw the gospel, preaching the gospel as the father's work. And in John 20, 21, he said, just as the father sent me, that is the way I sent you. So do the same business and you get my kind of results. And somebody will live here to begin to walk in signs and wonders. Amen. It is a heartbeat of God. That's why he said his only begotten son has a primary purpose for that. In Luke chapter 19 verse 10, he said, For the Son of Man came to seek and to save that which was what? Lost. Let's turn to the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 5. Turn with me to the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 5. And we read from 19 to 21. 2 Corinthians 5, 19 to 21. Are you there, sir? Shout hallelujah. I'm going to teach in a way that you won't struggle for miracles. They will just, it will become part of you. Become what? There's a difference between you pursuing miracles and you becoming a miracle. Which one do you prefer? You prefer that? When I finish, you know, people think so, when you, if you don't know the purpose of a thing, abuse is what? Inevitable. Many win souls don't even know the rewards of so winning. Because some of you win souls, but you don't even know the benefits, so you don't even enjoy them. It, it, it's not enough to do anything. It's important you know what you're doing. A life story, somebody entered the ship. Ken Hagen told the story, somebody entered the ship and was traveling, and ship journeys in those days used to be very far. Very far. They take weeks for you to move from one place to another. So the person, when he entered, bought cabin biscuit. Because the person had no money. And every time they want to go and eat in the sheep, the person will go and hide and eat the carpet. And will not come out for a meal. Then they got to a time, somebody was watching and said, excuse me, why this you don't come to eat when we eat? Why? But I said, you know what? I don't have money to pay for the meal. And the person laughed and said, no. The ticket for this sheep covers all your meal. Ignorance. What is it? Ignorance. <laughs> that, that you are born again does not mean that you enjoy benefits. So some of you win souls, but don't you know the benefits of so winning. So that's why you must hear the message. Some of you, you are in church, you do everything, but you are not enjoying the benefits of what you are supposed to be enjoying. Is that true? So don't think that why I say so winning. No, you must understand. When I teach so winning, you will know the benefits you should enjoy. <laughs> Are you getting what I'm saying? So you don't come to a church like prodigal son's elder brother. I say, Lord, you know I do every good thing, but why am I suffering? Because you are suffering because of your... Will God now give you the thing? No. So don't say, I know it. You know this thing he's talking about. It's just so winning. I've been winning souls. Open your ears. Well, by the time I'm through, you know that the souls you're winning, you're really enjoying it. So, 2 Corinthians 5. Are we there? Now, 19 to 21. I'll read 19, you read 20, 21. He said, To wit, that God was in Christ, reconciling the world unto himself, not imputing their trespasses unto them, and had committed unto us the word of what? Reconciliation. Read 20 together. Shall we read 21 together? For he had made him to be seen for us. Who knew no sin that we might be made the righteousness of God in him? Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. This shows that there's no other way. Other is why Jesus came to the world except to restore you and I back to God. He values man. He said he has done it. We should go and do the same. Is that true, sir? Not getting involved in God's business, you lose a lot. You can't be committed to soul winning and, last, and lack miracles. You hear this truth? One of the secrets of my exploits in life and ministry is soul winning. Is what? Is soul winning. Hello. Are you getting what I'm saying? You know why? Fasting will not make his presence. You know why? You are fasting for yourself. Prayer 
will not make you carry presents. You know why? You are praying for yourself, except you pray for the kingdom of God. But when you win souls, that is what you are doing for him. Fasting is for yourself. You are Every time you fast, it's for yourself. Let's say you're fasting for the kingdom of God. Then you can enjoy benefit. But most fast times are, oh God, open my door. Oh God, give me business too. So God said, this is not for me, it's for you. You are busy praying. 90% of your prayers is God, give me, give me, give me. So he looks at it and says, which one? But when you win souls, he cannot win souls. So you are doing the thing he cannot do. And when you do what he cannot do, he will do for you what you cannot do. God can win souls. Have you seen God win souls before? Can imagine God coming in the air? I am God. Won't everybody run? <laughs> if God should come, say, I'm God, be born again. Everybody, even here now, there'll be earthquake. Everybody run. Say, who they talk like that for atmosphere? Let's go. So God said, This I can't do. You do it, then my presence shall go. Look, if you win souls, you won't be looking for contract. Contract will be looking for you. Didn't you have it? When God's presence goes with you, struggles stop. Can God enter with you to a business and business fail? Okay. And God is no respecter of persons. Win souls as I win, and you see the miracles that I see. Are you getting what I'm saying? Tell them about get serious. With soul winning, you see how God will work with you. Going out for Jesus and the kingdom of God is the cardinal price you pay. For divine presence. When you influence your environment for Jesus. Then God will give you unlimited opportunity. To secure his divine presence. May his presence go with you. So his presence goes with those who are on the go for him. His presence goes with those who are what? On the go for him. His presence goes with those who are on the go for him. So here. Coming up on this episode. Now, I'll tell you some vital things about soul winning. Some what? About soul winning. Some things you need to know about soul winning. Because many of us don't know how important it is. So we don't we play with it. You know, if you don't know the purpose of a thing, abuse is inevitable. Uh, Many don't know how important soul winning is to God. Are you getting what I'm saying? So we toy with it. We don't even value it. Some of us don't even do it. Some people have never won any soul since they became born again. I'll tell you how. How the vital thing. Number one, it is the heartbeat of God. It is what? It is the heartbeat of God. It is the business of God. That's what I mean. Jesus asked the former demoniac he healed in Mark chapter 5. After healing the demoniac in Mark 5, if you read from 1920, demoniac was to follow Jesus. Jesus turned and said, look, go and tell your friends. Go and tell your what? He said, what I did for you, so I did too can come to me. He was not interested in the man just following him. He said, following me means nothing. Go and tell them about what I have done. The greatest miracle is not a miracle that eyes are open. The greatest miracle is not that the lame walked. The greatest miracle is not that you bought a house. The greatest miracle is the miracle of salvation. If you have not met Jesus, I want to pray specially with you. Just pray this prayer after me, Lord Jesus. I surrender my life to you. I believe in my heart that you died and rose from the head to save me. Right now with my mouth, I confess you as my Lord and Savior. Thank you, Jesus, for saving me. Amen. Our pillar provides support for structure. The book Success Pillar is an exposition of the ingredients that makes kingdom success predictable and obtainable. In this book, David Biomier delivers the secrets of his success stories to the reader. However, the high points shared in this book includes dream, faith, prayer, pursuit, integrity, and excellence.
Your success is guaranteed when you apply these principles in your life. Use the information on your screen to order for your copy or visit any leading bookstore near you. I will lift up Jesus. The reason why many cannot praise God because they are seeing problems instead of seeing promises. And if you can see the promises, you will praise God. He said you are sick. He said himself took our... He said you are poor. He said he was made poor that you might be... There is nothing that is a problem that does not have the word of God for it. So if you can put your face on God's word, you will never allow the problem where you... All the promises in God's word are true and they can become yours when you give them a heartfelt praise. Get this series of praise for the supernatural with David Abiyomi and learn how to praise effectively and get your desired result from God. You could get this series on DVDs, MP3s and the book titled The Power of Praise by contacting us on the information displayed on your screen. Live services, prayers, and counseling. Visit snhos.org or call the numbers on the screen. This program was brought to you by Salvation Ministries, Home of Success.